Hello everyone, welcome to day 28th of March Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. Today's solution would be 613th solution of the Lead Code Daily Contest and the question that we have in today is minimum domino rotations for equal row. Here in this question we are given n dominoes wherein we are given the tops and the bottom values of each domino in the form of an array. The values on these domino tiles would lie in the range of 1 to 6. What we need to do, we need to identify the minimum number of rotations that are needed so that either all the values in the top array becomes equal or all the values in the bottom array becomes equal. And with each rotation, you can swap the top ith index with the bottom ith index. If it can't be done, we have to return minus 1. Here they have provided us with an example. I'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it by the presentation. So let's quickly hop on to it. Lead code 1007 minimum domino rotations for equal row. So let's take the same example that was specified in the question. What we need to do, we need to make all the tops or bottoms same. And what we, we can do, we can perform rotation. So for example, if there is a domino whose top value is 3, the bottom one is 3. In after one rotation, what these two can be swapped. The top one would become 3 and the bottom one will become 2. So this is what it means by rotating a domino. You can swap top with bottom and vice versa. Now let's get back to the same example. Here the dominoes are specified as 2, 5, 1, 2, 2, 6, 4, 2, 2, 3, 2, 2. And you should treat each ith index as an atomic operation. You cannot swap with any top with any gth index across the top array. Similarly, you can't swap any gth index with the ith index in the bottom array. So one thing that you need to make sure that each domino is atomic in nature. Now comes the question, how are we going to solve this up? The naive approach that comes to everybody's mind is to look out for what all unique replacements are possible. So let's check what are, what all unique values exist in my top array. So we have two, one, four in my top array. These are the unique values. In the bottom one, we have five, two, six, three as the unique values. Now what you can do, you can aim for each of these values, making them as tops in the first go. And similarly, you can aim for making the same value as the bottom in the second go. So you count the rotation for the top, making tops as two or bottoms as two. And finally, uh, you choose the one which gives you the lower result. This entry minimum of top two and bottom two will give you the number of conversions or rotations needed for making either the entire tops as two or entire bottom as two. And once you have calculated that count variable, you will you will do it for all possible unique values that exist in my top array or the bottom array. And finally, you will select the one which gives you the least result. Again, not, nothing out loud there, very basic. However, there is a catch. What is the catch? Do we actually need to iterate through all the values that exist in my top array or the bottom array? The answer is no. You can select any ith domino and the target values would be either the ith, the top value at the ith index or the bottom value ith index. Either we will make top target equal to all tops or bottoms or we will make bottom target equal to all tops or bottoms. The minimum out of these two will finally give you the result. Why I am saying this? that only one domino can help you give the answer. The answer is pretty simple and straightforward. Let's take one example. So here in this case, what do you see? You see that we have 2, 5, 1, 2, 2, 6, 4, 2, 2, 3, 2, 2. And let's in the initial case, let's try and make 5 as our bottom is 5 is our bottom target value. And either we can make all bottoms equal to 5 or all tops equal to 5. So let's try and check whether it's possible or not. So right now we have 5 at the bottom. We are pretty good at the 0th index. Let's move ahead. Next we see what is the current value. The current value happens to be 2 here. What is the value at the top? The value at the top happens to be 1. 
none of the value is equal to the bottom as a result of which it's not possible to make this domino either point to 5 at the top or at the bottom as a result of which making all bottoms equal to 5 is not possible similarly can we make all tops equal to 5 so let's try this up uh, here the value happens to be 2 and here the value happens to be 5 so we can make and swap these two up and it will contribute to one rotation so we are good so far let's proceed ahead next we see is one so what is the value at the bottom index the value at the bottom index happens to be 2 as you can see there is no 5 across this entire domino making the top as 5 is not possible as a result of which you cannot make either all the bottoms point to 5 or all the tops point to 5 so this equation gets eliminated now let's look out for the other case what is the other case let me just change the color of pen and let's take blue and let's me just erase it up so the target value in here here in this case would be equal to 2 this is our target value either we can make all tops as 2 or all bottoms as 2 we will go one by one and we'll try to achieve that target so let's shoot for making all tops as 2 can that be done let's check it up the current value happens to be 2 pretty straight forward nothing is to be done next we go ahead and see we have 1 and 2 here so since it is not equal to a target value we check what is the bottom value the bottom value happens to be 2 which is equal to a target that will contribute to one rotation let's proceed ahead next we see is again our target value it's equal uh, let's we see is 4 what is the value in the bottom the bottom happens to be 2 and since it's 2 what we should do we should swap these two up the count gets updated to 2 let's proceed ahead next we see is 2 next we see is 2 and we have successfully made all tops point to 2 the total number of conversions needed for this purpose happens to be 2 so we found an answer corresponding to 2 which is 2 now let's try and make all bottoms as 2 because there could be a case that making all bottoms as 2 give us a lower result so let me just change the color of pen again and let's swap these two up since the value here is 5 uh, our target value is 2 we look out for the opposite value in the top index since we are iterating over the bottom one the top value happens to be 2 we swap these two up and the count becomes 1 let's proceed ahead next we see is 2 pretty straight forward and uh, so we'll not do here anything here let's proceed ahead next we see is 6 so let's swap these two up and the count gets updated to 2 let's proceed ahead next we see is 2 here uh, the value that we see is 3 what is the value at the top it's 3 so the count the conversion count gets updated to 3 and in the last index we have 2 again out of 2 and 3 which one is the lower one it happens to be 2 as a result of which for making all tops equal to 2 or all bottoms equal to 2 the count becomes 2 and this becomes our final answer now you will ask me why does the problem reduces to only the zeroth index why are we sticking only a uh, top of zero as a target value and bottom of zero as a target value for that matter the answer is simple let's swap this up let's replace this entry to the last of the array so here the array becomes 1 2 2 6 4 2 2 3 2 2 2 5 2 5 now a target value will be target top value would be 1 and target bottom value would be equal to 2 so these are the two target value that we are going to achieve and iterate to so uh, let's proceed ahead and let's try and check whether one is achievable across the top array or across the bottom array so we see here we see a 2 and at 2 we have the value 6 one is not achievable at the first index as a result of which you cannot put one across all tops let's walk through the bottom array and here we see a 2 the target value is 1 so we make the conversion here and the count becomes equal to 1 let's proceed ahead next we see is 6 since 6 is not equal to a target value what we will do we'll try to check what is the value at the top one here the value is 2 it's not equal to a target value as a result of it it's not possible to achieve one in the entire first domino as a result of which the target one is not achievable you cannot make all tops point to one or all bottoms point to one now comes the other question 
can we do it for two the answer is yes let's walk through it uh, let's try to make all tops as two in the first go here what do you see you see as you see the current value is one so uh, since it's one what is the bottom value the bottom value is uh, happens to be equal to your target value so you swap this up the conversion count becomes one next we see is two target is achieved next we see is four four happens to be unequal to a target value what do we do we go and check the bottom one the bottom happens to be equal to the target value we swap these two up the conversion count becomes equal to two next we see is two next we see is two next we see is two next is equal to is two so what do you see here you see that the ith index of the, the position of your domino is really not important for making all tops as two the conversion count came as two which is in sync with our previous expectation where the result was again two now you will ask me what would have been the case if we would have started from three here in that case the answer would have been minus one because you can see that three doesn't exist in this entire domino three doesn't exist in this entire domino three doesn't exist in this entire domino similarly if you go back and update this value to three then the answer would have been minus one because you cannot make all either all tops equal to two had here been a three instead of a two so what i'm trying to say the problem reduces to the trick that the position of the domino is immaterial it really doesn't matter at what index what domino is present what we are concerned in we are concerned in the possible values at that ith index if anything is still unclear don't worry everything will be sorted in the coding section so let's quickly hop on to it and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i have talked here i have created a helper method conversion to target i pass in the top array bottom array and i pass in the target value in the first case i have chosen tops at the zeroth index as my target value i get the result in a variable ans1 similarly i pass in uh, tops bottom the same arrays along with this the target here becomes equal to bottom at the ith index the value that i get turns out to be ans2 and in case both of them are greater than 0 i choose the one of the minimum value in case ans1 happens to be greater than 0 that simply means the other one is minus 1 and i simply return ans1 in this case and in the other case i return ans2 now comes the question how have i written this conversion to target helper method because this forms the crux of the problem what do i do i have taken a top conversion variable a bottom conversion variable both of them are initialized to 0 in case my top array is not equal to the target one and the bottom value bottom array ith index at the bottom array is not equal to target one i simply return minus one because it's not possible to achieve such a configuration in that case otherwise what do i do i check if my top happens is happen top at the ith index happens to be not equal to my target value and my bottom happens to be my target value i increment the top conversion count because in that case i am converting my top and replacing it with my bottom one similarly in the other case i check if my bottom at the ith index is not equal to my target while top is so i replace and make a conversion or a swap and uh, update my bottom conversion count so this is this top conversion count is responsible for making all tops equal to my target this bottom conversion is responsible for making all bottoms equal to my target and in the end i simply return the minimum one minimum out of these two so this helper method is primarily responsible for checking either i make all tops equal to my target what is the minimum count there and either i or i make all bottoms equal to my target so the minimum of these two will be returned by this helper method and now let's submit this accepted 80% faster which is pretty good now i want to show you the other trick so instead of making this as tops at the ith index let's create a random variable random equals to ran new random just to give you the flavor that whatever i told in the presentation that the position of the ith index doesn't make sense let's show it in action tops dot length so integer index let's extract an index randomly and let's put it over here and let's see whether it works or not accept it 
This simply means that the position of your IH domino is not important. You can choose any index as a target domino and you can try and check whether you are able to achieve this target value, the tops at the IH in index in your top array or your bottom array and similarly the other target would be bottom at the IH index. I hope you enjoyed this trick. The time complexity of this approach is order of n and space complexity of this approach is constant time. We haven't used anything extra over here. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.